YouTube simply oh no luck here and the wait is finally over all the way from Japan you guys from Japan we have the classic the ultimate rare the most valuable mystery boxes we could find in all of Osaka Japan right here and then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos and so, kind of after our intro here, I'll uh, show the snippet of the search for the rarest Japanese mystery boxes uh, video that we have, you guys, where we kind of uh, get these straight from the machine from the manager of one of the biggest um, card shops in all of Japan, actually, not just Osaka Card Lab. I believe it was like, they were like the fifth floor of a building, just their entire card shop, and then they had like a two or three store building uh, next to that. So very crazy, you guys. But yeah, we'll check out that video in a minute. First, though, just to talk about uh, what's gonna happen here. So this is I believe we got 10 10 mini mystery boxes of uh, What they call in Japan or what we call ultimate rares in Japan though Most ultimate rares actually started way back with the classic cards and so some examples of that that I wanted to give you guys is uh, Blue eyes white dragon. I even showed it some of the times in uh, some of the Japanese vlog videos Blue eyes white dragon is actually one of the most most valuable cards in Japan as an ultimate rare um, behind that you have Red Eyes and Dark Magician, of course, and they're still extremely valuable, you guys. And uh, from there you have Summon Skull, you have Black Skull Dragon, oh man, Dark Sage, Jinzo, Demok, Dark Magician of Chaos, man, that would be sweet ultimate rare. Gaia, and then a couple of my favorite cards that I would love to have as ultimate rare since we never had them in America, well lots of these cards we don't have ultimate rare in America, but um, Dark Paladin would be amazing and Envoy of the Beginning. Those two guys look so freaking sweet. Um, two of my more favorite pictures and Envoy being from one of my favorite sets, Invasion of Chaos. Um, and then also we have Black Magician of Chaos and uh, like Exodia is also in here. And I think you can even see some of those examples on the machine that we uh, get these mystery boxes from. And they were 30,000 yen um, or three 3,000, I was getting mixed up with the zeros. But basically it was $30 per mini mystery box from the machine, you guys. And so what we did is I think we bought all of the ones in the machine at the moment. So hopefully we get something awesome. And also you guys, big shout out to uh, sipandlucky.com. We're gonna be using the uh, Kaiba Corp card sleeves for this video. We also brought out Kaiba because this is a big Kaiba video. And uh, also some news coming up soon is a Kickstarter for those that want to participate in the shop. So I'll mention that maybe in the beginning or the middle or end of this video as well. All right, you guys. So here is the clip from uh, the original Japanese vlog. Today we want to record getting some of the most valuable cards at the card shop over in Japan, Osaka, in Denden Town at the card lab. And so we found that there is a machine here that you can get 30,000 30, 3,000 yen, sorry, to get some of the most valuable cards, classic cards in the game. And so uh, we asked the manager over and uh, we were wondering if we, can, uh, if we can get some of the most, get all the ones in the machine that are left. So we were going to spend some money in Japan, in Japan here and let's see what we can get. You guys ready? Let's do it. So I'd like to get all of, all of the ones that are left inside. All of them. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Big. This is the. I was trying to get the most valuable cards we can find. Two. Ten. Ten. Okay. So ten will be how much yen? Three. Ten yen. Ten yen. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand yen. Okay. Three hundred thousand yen. Okay. 300,000 yen, you guys, for all 10. Wow, okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. All right, you guys, so we have 
all ten of the final pieces of some of the most valuable cards, and we'll have a video for this later on, you guys, so be ready for that. So yeah, after watching that clip from the vlog, I was super hyped to do this opening. It's really just been sitting there, you guys, waiting to be opened, and I've just been like, man, I really want to make this video, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure, you know, we're kind of in that shop phase, getting closer to uh, opening up the best card shop. All right, you guys, let's get straight into it. These cards may be on uh, simplylucky.com if you guys are interested in picking them up, but I think for some of the better ones, if we pull any of the more classic ones, we'll probably maybe put them on a little thing in the shop. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, a mystery box, ultimate rare, classic mystery box from Japan. As you can see, they're trading card games. So take these out here. Extremely valuable cards, you guys. Let's see what we can get. Heart of the cards, guide us. So first box here. Is it kind of, okay, it's kind of just sitting there in the box. So we'll just kind of stick our fingers in here. All right, first one. Oh baby, an ultimate rare Gemini Elf. Man, this might be a lot of oh babies. Wow. I mean, it may not be one of the more valuable ones, but that is still so cool. And this is Japanese art, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at these classic, uncensored, uncensored picture of an ultimate rare Gemini Elf. That is beautiful. Wow. Do they keep their markings on their face? I don't even remember. But as you can see, a little bit of cleavage there because they wanted to get rid of that for the TCG. But in general, you guys, this is just a beautiful card. Look at the ultimate. Me Konami. TCG Konami, man. We need our ultimate rares back. They should just do like uh, what Magic did, like with Expedition Lance, where they just randomly won a case, you get an ultimate rare version of a classic card. That would be so cool. Just in each individual set uh, that's, that they make. A little subset of ultimates. And it looks like on the other side, nice, a Kaiser Glider from Kaiba. I think it... It's in his sets, right? Uh, but yeah, Ultimate Rare Kaiser Glider. And again, I don't think we have this in TCG as well. These Ultimate Rares are so beautiful. Wow. A Gemini Elf, though. You know, I'll go ahead and sleeve up the Gemini Elf. Our Kaiba Corp sleeves. You guys, this is a gorgeous. Okay. First card, Ultimate Rare Gemini Elf. I'm already feeling the fire, you guys. This is, this is, this is too much. This is no way. Nice! A Feather of the Phoenix. That is a beautiful Ultimate Rare card, but it is Ultimate Rare in the TCG. And then on the other side here, oh wow. Do they make st Structure Deck cards Ultimate Rare in Japan? I didn't even know. Does it come Ultimate Rare in the Structure Deck, or is it? do you have to get it different ways? Very cool, though. That was an unexpected Ultimate Rare from here. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of set this guy right over there. Feather of Phoenix is pretty sweet. All right, you guys. Next mini box. I know this is going quick. It's only a couple cards in each one. Again, this was the most valuable mystery boxes in all of Japan. And some of those valuable cards, again, are the most classic cards like we talked about before. Blue Eyes being the most valuable. But I doubt we would pull him. Oh, 2400 attack. Ooh, Cyber Laser Dragon. That is beautiful. That looks so cool as Ultimate. And Big Core. Is that Big Core or one of them? Um, both these cards do come ultimate though in the TCG. Very nice. And then maybe Rick, you guys can help you out with some of the values of some of these ultimate rares. I'm not too sure. Um, we'll do some research. Kind of see where it's at there. Um, but yeah, still very cool. Again, this is not really about values. This is about seeing some ultimate rare classic cards. But of course... Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes would probably be, you know, the more harder ones to get, like, 100%. But like I mentioned, too, like, Exodia, Summon Skull, uh, uh, Demok, Paladin, Dark Paladin, Envoy at the beginning. You know, those are some really rare cards as well. Come on. Yuki Boy! Oh, it was, like, bigger sleeve. Uh, but this one is, looks like a Cyber Prima. 
Cyber Prima. And Guardian Mech, is that Goku? Very cool. Looks like some of them come a little played, but that's okay. Hopefully, if there is any more valuable ones, they come in more uh, near mint condition. Two, three, four, five, six. Six left, you guys. So, uh, here we go. Classic mystery boxes. You guys gotta believe in the heart of the cards. It can't just be me. It can't just be me. Yo yo! Okay. Damn it, is this damage conductor? I'm trying to remember. It's a pretty sweet ultimate. And uh, I, f I feel like that's a censored card. I feel like that would not be on a uh, TCG card. Uh, Nolan, I wanna say Nolan Void, but um, talk to the hand maybe? Or Mind Crush? What did he say for the uh, first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh? Open your mind! <laughs> cool. So we'll go ahead and set these over there. Open your mind. All right, you guys, five left, halfway through. Come on, at least one, one of those super, I mean, we got Gemini Elf, all right, all right. So we can't complain, even if we don't, even if we don't get anything, you guys, uh, get anything else that we're kind of, a, as a more classic card, we did get Gemini Elf, and that is a beautiful card. Just to take a quick look at her again real quick. She's gorgeous, or they, are gorgeous and uh but yeah you guys one more classic card would freaking be amazing let's see what happens um and then just a quick shout out again you guys a kickstarter soon for soon for those that want to support um the opening of the card shop and it's probably gonna be opening here in the next month month and a half uh, we'll have those details in the description below um if not this video maybe the next couple videos but just a lot of you guys have been asking about um wanting to support the card shop and that is a way to do so and trust me you guys when we say the rewards will be epic all right here we go number five look at kaiba kaiba's just looking at us man he's just kind of like what can you do yugi boy right yo yo oh what black luster soldier and boy of the beginning oh baby Wow, that is gorgeous. Holy crap. I was like, hey, this feels, this sleeve feels a bit thicker, man. Wow. I'm shaking a little bit. All right. So let's pull it out. Let's check it out. This is a nice, nice clear sleeve. Oh, man. I was going to say, it looks like, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Wow, look at this picture, you guys. That is a ultimate rare Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the beginning. That is insanity. Imagine if they made these, like, for Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I said, Konami, just throwing it out there. Maybe, uh, like a little subset. It could be even three cards, maybe five, maybe ten of ultimate rare versions. Of classic cards, just one per case of newer and newer sets. Just, uh... Throw, throw them out there. Wow, you guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, baby. I don't even know if I gave it an oh, baby. That is so beautiful. That is beautiful. So we're going to take it out of this clear and put it in. Kaiba's Kaiba Corp sleeve, man. I was feeling, I was talking to Kaiba there. I was feeling like saying Kaiba, but I was like, man, I got to save that for the last pack. But I was feeling like me and Kaiba were having a conversation. Wow, that is so beautiful. So we got a Gemini Elf, we got an Envoy. Let's see what else we can get. Envoy of the End might even be in here. Um, I think he was like a more of a limited edition card in Japan. So I pretty, I'm like 100% sure that one's more valuable. But yeah. Next. Yo yo! <laughs> really? UFO Roid <laughs> of all the cards, of all the cards to get after a. Uh, Envoy of the beginning, we get a UFO Roid. And on the back. Ooh, Cyber Twin Dragon Ultimate Rare. Now that is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. 
Yes, this did come out in the TCG, you guys, but it is still one of the prettiest Ultimate Rares. Just the Cyber Series in general, with the, the lightning, the blue, the white, some of the prettiest Ultimate Rare cards. That I will definitely not complain about. That is beautiful. <laughs> UFO Roy to back it up. Set him over there. So we'll go ahead and put this in our Kaiba Corp sleeve. Booyah. That is gorgeous. Alright, you guys. Kaiba still giving us the look. Here we go. Next mini mystery box. You guys, this is, again, the most valuable mystery boxes we could find in all of Osaka, Japan. But most were saying this is still one of the more valuable mystery boxes you can get in all of Japan, period. Holding kind of the more valuable cards. A ultimate rare mystery box. Okay. One card. Yo, yo! Okay, Ancient Gear Castle, right, for this one. It's a pretty sweet Ultimate Rare. Ancient Gear cards. Oh, I think Ancient um, Golem. What's his name? Ancient Gear Golem is uh, in this as well. I mean, I don't know if it's in these packs, uh, in these you know uh, mystery boxes here, but uh, in Japan, I know they have, it's pretty valuable, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare as well. All right, you guys, two more packs. Yo, yo! Here we go. Come on. Like we talked about, um, we have Blue Eyes, Summoned Skull, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Black Skull Dragon, Dark Sage, Jinzo, dude, Jinzo would be crazy. Jizno, my friend, my, my everything. Uh, Dark Magician of Chaos, Dark Paladin, Gaia, Exodia. Here we go. Heart of the cards, you guys, guide us. Ooh, Barrel Dragon? Whoa, that is cool. Whoa, I did not know Barrel Dragon was in here. That is, I didn't even know he's Ultimate Rare, man. I don't even know if any of these cards are Ultimate Rare. Barrel Dragon, okay. That's good enough. That's good enough right there. We got three, like, he's, Ed Boy's pretty classic. I mean, that's Invasion of Chaos. Uh, so three classic cards so far. Nothing to complain about at this point, you guys. A freaking Barrel Dragon, and I'm trying to stop shaking, man. These classic cards. Look at that. And this is the uncensored version. This is two uncensored cards now, or I guess we've had three with the Null and Void uh, for your mind. Um, these are actual barrels, like looks like gun barrels. So in the uncensored version, they made like Nerf gun kind of looking lightning barrels, right? Rick, if you want to compare for these guys, this is what it kind of looks like. So very beautiful. That is an ultimate rare. Barrel Dragon, right? Just Barrel, I wanna say like Blowback. There's a lot of kind of different versions of this guy, but still I think it's just classic Barrel Dragon from MRD, baby. That is beautiful. Wow. That is so amazing. All right, you guys, last mystery box of Destiny. You guys ready? Give it to us. Kaiba! Alright, here we go. Hmm. So, again, classic card. Anything could be good. Here we go. Okay, upside down. It's got two sleeves! It's got two sleeves! Blue eyes? <laughs> Blue eyes? <laughs> Come on, Kaiba! Come on! Two sleeves! What had two sleeves last time? Envoy? Dark Paladin? Yu Yu! Ah! Red Eyes! Black Dragon! Yo! Yo! Oh, Snikey's Batman! Red Eyes! Black Dragon! Woo! Woo! Oh man, I'm shaking. I gotta put it down. Gotta put it down. Wow. Wow. I mean, I don't even know the values of these cards, you guys. Uh, honestly, um, Rick will probably help out with putting some uh, eBay listings, but still, you don't know if eBay listings are really the value of these cards. But you guys, still in Japan, seeing some of these most valuable cards in the set, this is incredible. So, if you guys are in Japan and you want to buy 10 of these things, I recommend doing so because this is incredible. Incredible. A Red Eyes Black Dragon. A ferocious dragon with a deadly attack.
Oh, baby, man. That is insanity. Wow, that looks gorgeous. All these cards are gorgeous, but ultimate rares. This is insanity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Red Eyes Black Dragon Ultimate Rare, you guys. That is beautiful. I have never held such a card before. Ultimate Rare. Wow. Alright, we gotta sleeve it up with our Kyba Corp sleeves. Again, I'm not too sure if we're gonna put these cards on uh, SipAndLucky.com, but if we do, you guys, they are, it looks like most of them are in kind of like an excellent condition. You know, it doesn't look like anything's really near mint. Maybe the Gemini Elves. Um, but yeah, it looks like most of it are in excellent condition. But still, uh, very cool to see these from a mystery box. Again, these cards, you guys, this is some of the oldest Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I believe. So, seeing the Red Eyes, seeing the Gemini Elf here, the Barrel Dragon, the Envoy, this is insanity. Absolutely beautiful. Gaiba! That was great. Awesome. And another big shout out again to Kickstarter, you guys. We'll either have a link to it in this video or future videos. Um, we're trying to do a soft opening of the shop. I believe it's early to mid-July, and so the Kickstarter will kind of go up until there, starting very soon. Giving away lots of uh, merch, play mats, uh, binders, deck boxes, or not deck boxes, but um, gaming crates, lots of cool stuff. We're teaming up uh, with a couple di different partners, you guys, in order to do this. It's going to be uh, really one of the coolest things we've ever done. Um, but yeah, it just kind of gives you guys that option to uh, support the shop if that was something you want to do, which a lot of you guys messaged us about. Um, things like dedicating certain um, parts of the shop to those who uh, participate in Kickstarter. Things like that. So uh, yeah, check that out when you guys get a chance. And um, wow, you guys, that was incredible. One of my favorite, favorite things are ultimate rare classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We don't have that here. I don't we don't we don't we don't have that here in America. So wow. Oh babe. Alright you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh videos and simply unlucky signing out. <laughs>